Maureen O'Hara, the legendary Irish-American actress, led a life that was as captivating and colorful as the characters she played on screen. Beyond her cinematic achievements, her personal life was marked by a series of relationships and marriages, each contributing to the tapestry of her love life, and she found herself at the center of a sex scandal that ultimately resulted in a high-profile lawsuit. Join Facts First UK as we delve into her relationships and the sex scandal that ruined her career. Maureen and George Brown Maureen O'Hara's relationship with George H. Brown marked her first marriage and a significant chapter in her life. They were married in 1939, and at the time, he was a British film producer. Their union, however, proved short-lived, as they divorced in 1941. The details of their relationship and the divorce are not widely publicized. It's important to note that O'Hara was still in the early stages of her career during this time, and the demands of her rising acting career may have played a role in their marital challenges. Maureen and Will Price Maureen's relationship with Will Price was another big chapter in her life. He was an American film director and writer, and he became O'Hara's second husband when they married in 1941. Their union lasted for over a decade, with the couple divorcing in 1953. They had a daughter together named Bronwyn. Their relationship was not only notable for its duration, but also for the fact that both O'Hara and Price were involved in the entertainment industry. O'Hara, as a celebrated actress, and Price, as a director and writer, likely had a shared understanding of the demands and challenges that came with their respective careers. But despite their common interests, the marriage faced its share of difficulties, which eventually led to their divorce. The exact reasons have not been known, but O'Hara was quite private about her personal life. Like many Hollywood relationships, the pressures and demands of their respective careers may have played a role. After their divorce, Maureen continued to build her career in Hollywood, becoming an iconic actress known for her roles in classic films. Will Price, on the other hand, continued his work in the industry, and their relationship didn't stand the test of time but was significant for both of them. Maureen and Charles Blair Maureen's relationship with Charles F. Blair Jr. was a profound and enduring chapter in her life. Blair, a pilot and businessman, became O'Hara's third husband when they married in 1968. This marriage marked a departure from the entertainment industry for O'Hara as Blair was not involved in Hollywood. Their relationship was characterized by a deep and abiding love. Charles was known for his aviation career, and O'Hara, who had experienced the glamorous world of Hollywood, found herself drawn to his adventurous spirit. Their union resulted in a strong and lasting partnership that endured for a decade. Tragically, their love story was cut short by Charles Blair's untimely death in a plane crash in 1978. The loss had a profound impact on Maureen, and she mourned the passing of her beloved husband deeply. Throughout the marriage, they shared a life for adventure and travel. Blair's passion for aviation was evident in his work, and O'Hara embraced this aspect of his life wholeheartedly. The relationship with Charles Blair was a testament to Maureen's capacity for love and willingness to embrace new adventures beyond the glamour of Hollywood. Career Highlights Maureen had a remarkable career in Hollywood spanning several decades. One of her most celebrated roles was in the 1947 Christmas classic Miracle on 34th Street, where she played the character Doris Walker. The film remains a beloved holiday favorite, and O'Hara's performance is cherished by audiences to this day. She had a significant collaboration with director John Ford, starring in several of his films, including The Quiet Man in 1952, opposite John Wayne. Her portrayal of Mary Kate Danaher in this romantic drama earned her critical acclaim and remains one of her most memorable roles. She was known for her versatility as an actress, effortlessly transitioning between genres. Her work in swashbuckling adventure films like The Black Swan and Sinbad the Sailor showcased her range and ability to take on diverse roles. She received an Honorary Academy Award in 2014 for her contributions to the film industry, recognizing her remarkable career and impact on the world of cinema. Throughout her career, she displayed both talent and resilience, paving the way for future generations of actresses. She also is known for breaking barriers and standing up for her rights in the male-dominated industry. Later Years 
In her later years, Maureen O'Hara experienced significant challenges, including her retirement from acting and the tragic death of her husband, Charles. She officially retired from acting in the early 70s, choosing to step away from the spotlight to focus on her personal life and her family. Her husband, Charles Blair, was a renowned pilot and a businessman who operated Antilles Airboats, a seaplane airline that served the Caribbean region. Tragically, he died in that plane crash in 1978. Following her husband's death, Maureen faced the challenging task of taking over leadership of Antilles Airboats as its CEO. This was a remarkable achievement given that she was transitioning from a career in acting to a position of significant responsibility in the aviation industry. It was a testament to her strength and determination. Under her leadership, Antilles Airboats continued to thrive, and she was instrumental in its success. She demonstrated not only her business acumen, but also her resilience and adaptability in another male-dominated industry. Her ability to lead and manage the airline company was remarkable, and it showcased her capacity to excel in a life beyond her acting career. The Sex Scandal and Lawsuit Maureen was involved in a notable libel suit against Confidential Magazine in the 1950s. Confidential was a scandal magazine known for publishing sensational and often salacious stories about celebrities. In its July 1957 issue, Confidential published an article about O'Hara that alleged she was engaged in an inappropriate and intimate behavior in a public place. O'Hara was outraged by these allegations, which she vehemently denied. She took legal action against Confidential, filing a libel suit. Her response was part of a broader movement among Hollywood celebrities and studios against the magazine, which had gained notoriety for its scandalous and often unsubstantiated stories about the personal lives of Hollywood figures. The case was significant in several ways. It was one of the first major instances of a celebrity taking a stand against a publication for invasion of privacy and defamation. Secondly, it highlighted the growing tensions between the right to privacy of public figures and the freedom of the press. The lawsuit culminated in a trial, and it was a high-profile affair, drawing a lot of media attention. But before the case could be resolved in court, Confidential's legal struggles with other Hollywood entities led to its decline. The magazine agreed to a settlement that required it to change its editorial policies and practices, significantly reducing its focus on scandalous celebrity stories. As a result of these broader legal challenges and changes in its editorial policy, Confidential Magazine's influence and readership declined sharply. For O'Hara, the lawsuit was a matter of defending her reputation and standing up to a publication that had become infamous for its sensational and unfounded stories. The case is remembered as an early example of celebrities using legal means to combat invasive and libelous reporting. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you know about this libel lawsuit? Let us know in the comments section below.